lentil soup. Hey guys, Mark Murphy here. I'm here to show you uh, one of my favorite recipes uh, using things just out of my pantry, lentil soup. I boiled some water because I like to let my lentils sort of, uh, you know, loosen up a little bit before we start cooking them. This doesn't take too long. So I'm gonna take about a couple lentils, toss them in the bowl, and then I'm just gonna cover them with some hot boiling water. And while those are sitting, they're gonna sort of, you know, they're gonna relax. Those outside shells, they're just gonna feel, feel good in there. I'm gonna let those soak for a little bit, put them aside. And now we're gonna get all of our flavor. We're gonna be flavoring these lentils, flavoring this soup. I'm gonna start off by turning on my pot where I'm gonna be cooking my whole thing, putting a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there because you can't go wrong with a little extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna start cutting up a little bit of bacon because I had a couple slices of bacon in the fridge. Heck, that's gonna, that's gonna give some nice flavor to my lentils. I'm used to using like four or five slices of bacon. I didn't wanna use it all because, you know, Tomorrow morning, my kids are going to want bacon for breakfast. Get that sizzling. We're going to be adding a little bit of garlic. So we're just going to smash that, give it a quick little chop. I'm just going to make a pile here of all the aromatics while my bacon is sort of rendering a little bit. I want those flavors to come out. And because it's soup, you got to remember, you want to be able to cut the, cut the ingredients that you're putting into a soup. And they don't all have to be perfect. They don't have to be diced exactly the way you, you want it, but you do have to make it so it goes and fits on a spoon. You have to remember that. Can you guys smell this at home? Look at that. Bacon's rendering, oh, hard to see. I've got my celery, carrots, garlic. I've got a white onion. I'm gonna throw that in there as well. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Now we're also gonna be adding some herbs to this. And now because, uh, you know, it depends on the time of year, where you are, I grow some uh, rosemary in my garden. This is last year's rosemary that I always, at the end of the season, I'll, I'll pick a bunch of rosemary, I'll dry it out, and I'll put it in jars so I can have it all winter. Very, very handy. And then I have this new ingredient somebody sent me, Turkish oregano buds, which I've just started using. You could use just regular oregano if you have it. And I'm gonna take my aromatics, dump them in there. Now we're gonna take our lentils and we're gonna check them out. See, they've already almost, they've almost doubled in size since I started because they're, they're sort of getting imbibed by the water that's gotten into them. So I'm gonna take these lentils and I'm gonna put them in my soup. I'm also gonna use the hot water that was in there. I'm probably gonna to have to add more water because it also, I'm not gonna have enough water for this soup. And I am gonna add my little packet of chicken stock seasoning because I don't have any chicken stock. So I'm gonna use this you know, so also, you can use a bouillon cube. But remember, these are also a little bit salty, so you want to put a little less salt than usual. And of course, let's not forget the bay leaf. So now we're just going to let that come to a boil. Let it simmer for about a half hour. We're going to start finishing it off by adding a bunch of spinach. This is about four ounces of spinach. And then what I like to do is finish off this soup with a little bit of Dijon mustard. Now, this is up to you. You can really about a tablespoon, I like a little extra, maybe an extra squeeze in there. I'm gonna make sure that is gonna be in there just on it to all melt in the soup. It gives the soup a little bit of spice, a little bit of depth, I find. You're also gonna to wanna to dig that bay leaf out of there. You don't wanna eat that. Oh, there it is. Interesting, I always like to taste the bay leaf when it comes out. I find it's, I don't know, very satisfying, very flavorful. I always like to serve my lentils with a little bit of scooch of a little olive oil on top of it. it just makes it so good. Et voila! Mm -mm.